So today I'm out here with my Ford New Holland LS35 tractor that I picked up. And uh, the main issue that this guy was having is uh, the fuel pump, which I already have. This was the one that came on it. Um, it has one of these Kohler. Actually, let's take a look. So it's got it's Kohler Command 15 under here. And I've already uh, did a conversion similar to the uh, one that Terrell Dactyl did on his uh, Terrell Fixes All, but he made his out of uh, metal. This one's out of plastic. Uh, these fuel pumps are plastic. This is actually a this thing here. This one I picked up out of the scrapyard because uh, I didn't want to buy a new one. A new one of these is $60, or if you order them online, you can get them for $30. Um, but I didn't want to order one, so uh, I went to the scrapyard and I got this one and I worked for a day and then I quit working. Uh, this one I took apart. Um, basically what happens on these is they, these rubber boots rip and leak or the, and or the check valves. There's two check valves in here. Start leaking. Um, so anyway, I printed this one and uh, we'll do a little test and see uh, if we can get it to, if it's pumping. So I got my fuel pump hooked up here with the 3D printed adapter and uh, let's see if it'll uh, pump. Alright, let's see if it'll pump. Woo! Got fuel pumping. Alright. Now, I'd be okay with this, but uh, now what Terrell does is he puts zip ties and zip ties this, hook this in here and then we put a bunch of zip ties and yeah, I have a bunch of zip ties. I can zip tie this on there, but uh, I really don't want to. So, all right. <laughs> so, what I have is this, which should mount up on here. Actually, it's gonna go on there like that. And then our Briggs and Stratton fuel pump will hook up on there. And I uh, got some nuts here. And uh, I think that will look better than uh, having some zip ties holding a fuel pump on uh, this Ford tractor. Alright, so I got my bracket all mounted up there with the nuts that I printed and uh, I need a new nozzle for my extruder and these parts are pretty poor quality. So yeah, I'm going to reprint these at another point because they're pretty bad quality. I don't know if it's showing up on video or not. but. Uh, I tried doing it with a Ford logo on there, but it didn't come out too well with the blue and white, and then the threads are wrong too. So, um, but I'm just testing this out for now, and uh, we'll see how this works here. Took a little bit to get the fuel pumping in there, which I kind of expected that because carburetor was empty. But uh, yeah, and we got a little fuel over here, but I'm pretty sure that was from uh, when I was testing this out because I made sure that it was going to pump over here. And uh, yeah, but I think that's going to work. I'm going to reprint this part here when I get some new nozzles for my 3D printer, though. So uh, yeah, we'll. I'll put this up on Thingiverse and uh, 
you got a 3D printer and you want to download and print it and do this part yourself, then uh, go for it. Because uh, you can't get these parts anywhere else. I don't think. Yeah. 